So as you may know, me and my partner purchased a lovely house at the back end of last year, and we decided to give it a massive makeover, which saw us finally move in at the beginning of March. Now, I know you're thinking, that sounds expensive. And you know what? You'd be right. So whilst we are in the process of rebuilding our finances, which will take several months, we were faced with a bit of a problem because as we moved in from a rental property, which was fully furnished, as we came to this property, we actually had zero furniture apart from a table and a chair. But one month in and the property is pretty much fully furnished and we hardly spent any money. So let's find out how I did that. I'm Kozan from Financial Badness, helping you be better with your money. Wow. So let's start off with what I actually got. Are you ready? So it is one free sofa, one free sofa bed, one armchair, two TV stands, two coffee tables, one bookshelf, a wireless printer and scanner with new ink, side table and mirror, chest of drawers, two large nightstands, a king size bed with a mattress, chairs and stools, and many more. Okay, so believe it or not, most of those things I got for free, aside from the bookshelf, which cost us £10, and the bed with mattress, which cost us £80, which is very cheap for a king size. So we got all of these products from Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree. So they are all secondhand products. And I was a bit reluctant because I wasn't sure in terms of the condition, whether I would want a secondhand sofa or a bed. But I have to say, pretty much everything that we've got is in very good to excellent condition. Now you can expect some wear and tear because these are secondhand goods, but considering that most of these things were free, I'm not really one to complain. So basically you go on these apps, Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, and you can set your search based on location and price. Now what I normally do is that I normally set it to three to five miles within my location, and I set the price to zero. And then it returns me a list of items that people are giving away. Because we are dealing with furniture, with most of these items, it definitely helps if you have a car. However, if you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. One way that we found can be a useful way is just to order an Uber or an Uber XL if your item is particularly bulky. If you happen to have a van, then even better as you'll be able to fit more of the big and bulky stuff like a sofa and bed, which to your surprise, is actually a very popular free giveaway. As these items are big and bulky, they are very difficult to get rid of. The owners actually find it more cost effective if they give away these items for free, with the caveat that you have to come down to their property and collect the item yourself. Now this does present itself with a problem because not many of us obviously have vans. I for one don't have one. So I had to think of cost effective ways on how I could pick up these items. With the sofa bed, we actually got really, really lucky as our builder kindly offered to pick up this item with his van. So maybe you can do the same here if you are in a similar position. We actually did offer our builder money, but um, because he was doing such a big job um, in our property, I think he just gave it for us for free. So that was really, really kind of him. If you don't have that option, another way that we did when we picked up the other sofa and the bed was that we rented a van from Zipcar. So for both of these trips, we actually rented the van 90 minutes each for a round trip, which cost us around about 10 pounds, which is a cost that you will have to factor in. However, as you will agree, it is considerably cheaper than actually buying a sofa outright or buying a bed outright. So still a win-win. Now before this, me and my partner have never driven a van before, so I was a bit apprehensive about driving a van in the streets of London, but the vans were surprisingly easy to drive and they weren't as big and bulky as I was picturing them in my head. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe with the notification bell on. I release a video every single week talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. So sometimes we were faced with a situation which wasn't actually that uncommon, where we would reach out about one particular item, but they would come back saying that, yes, you can have this, but I'm also giving away this and this away. Would you be interested? So for example, when we went over to pick up the sofa bed, the owner was actually moving house and was giving away a lot of stuff for free. So we ended up picking up an armchair on the way, uh, a couple of stools, some shelving, and lots of stuff for the kitchen, like pots, pans, cutlery, which all became really, really useful to us. Now, because we are looking for stuff that is free or on the very cheap side, you will, of course, come across a lot of stuff that obviously wouldn't be of interest to you. So there is some patience that will be required 
required when doing this. My suggestion is to check these apps on a regular basis. I redo it daily and even sometimes multiple times a day. Spock is another app if you want another platform to also find these things. Um, I didn't mention it before because we found that Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree uh, were far more effective. We actually didn't get any luck with Spock. But yeah, check these apps regularly because most of the good stuff literally go on the same day. So you want to be keeping your eye on that phone and making sure that you are snapping up all the good deals. On Gumtree, there is a really cool feature where you can actually save a search and you can get notified daily whenever there is a new upload that matches your criteria. So that is really, really useful if you want to be one of the first people to snap up the free item. So yeah, that is how we managed to furnish our house with hardly any money at all. And I have to be honest, once our house is fully furnished, I will probably still keep an eye out on these apps because you do find some amazing deals on here. So you don't necessarily need to be moving house like in my example for this to be effective this can be a great place for you to find some good quality cheap things and I for one will be for sure to keep an eye out on this cool so that is it for this week's episode let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are and also let me know what the, the best free finds that you have mine was the printer and scanner with new cartridges that was just something I wasn't expecting and I just snapped up at the chance because I've been meaning to buy one anyway so that was my best free find what is yours and as always if you did find this video really useful I would appreciate if you smash that like button that does wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel and I release a video every single week so if you want to keep up to date with those hit the subscribe button too see you later bye